योर क्वेश्चन इज द लाइन वाई इज इक्वल टू के माइनस थ्री एक्स इज अ टेंजेंट टू अ कव एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स वाई माइनस ट्वेंटी दैट यू सी जीरो ए फाइंड द पॉसिबल वैल्यू ऑफ के बी फॉर ईच ऑफ दिस वैल्यू ऑफ के फाइंड द कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ द टेंजेंट विथ कव तो वॉट दे हैव गिवन दे हैव गिवन दिस इज योर सिंपल लाइन फॉर्मूला एंड सेकेंड इज योर कव फॉर्मूला वॉट वी हैव टू डू यू कैन सी वाई इज इक्वल टू के माइनस थ्री एक्स दैट वी विल सब्सिट्यूट इन अवर कव फॉर्मूला वॉट वी विल गेट तो कव फॉर्मूला इज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू एक्स एंड वाई y is k minus 3x k minus 3x minus 20 that gives you zero now solve this here you will get x square plus 2xk minus 6x square minus 20 That gives you zero. Now here it will come x square minus six x square is minus five x square. Minus five x square. And see this. This is plus two x k minus twenty. That gives you zero. Now in question, what they have given? See that they have given that it's a tangent. That means our discriminant should be equal to zero. So what is our discriminant? That is your d square minus four ac. It should be equal to zero. Now compare. What is your a here? B and c. You can see b square. That means two k is your b. So two k square. we can write it as 2k whole square minus 4 into a a is minus 5 and c is minus 20 that gives you zero 2k square is 4k square minus into minus is plus plus into minus is minus now So here comes four into five is twenty. Twenty into twenty is four hundred. That gives you zero. So what is your four k square now? Four k square is equal to four hundred. So what is your k square? K square is nothing but four hundred by four. That is your hundred. so we can say k square is 100 therefore k is nothing but it's a plus minus 10 hmm? why means k is root over 100 we know that 100 is the perfect square of 10 that is plus minus so k value is plus minus 10 that we have completed our first question find the possible value of k that is your plus minus 10 now what second they have given for each of this value of k find the coordinates of the point of the contact of the tangent so now we will substitute this value where we will substitute we will substitute at this point one time we will take plus another time we will take minus so here what we will get see this minus 5x square we are taking plus first plus so here we will get what plus 2 into 10 is 20x minus 20 that gives you zero now divided by minus 5 what we will get we will get x square plus 4x minus 
that gives you zero that means it's a a minus b whole square you can see here that means it will be x minus 2 whole square therefore we can say x is 2 comma 2 if x is 2 comma 2 what is your y now that we have to find out so we know that y is k minus 3x y is k minus 3x we know that k is we have taken plus so therefore it is 10 minus 3x so now we will find the value of y y is 10 minus 3 into 2 is 6 that is equal to 4 so we can say 4 comma 4 2 comma 2 4 comma 4 if we have taken positive value now we will take negative value so for negative value if you put the value as minus 10 what will be that you can see here minus 5 x square and this will be your minus so you will get minus 20 x again minus 20 that gives you 0 divided by minus 5 you will get what x square plus 4x and plus 4 that gives you 0 so again it is in the form of a plus b whole square so we will get what x plus 2 whole square that is equal to 0 therefore x is what minus 2 comma minus 2 so what is y now again same 10 minus 3x so instead of 10 we will put minus now so here y is minus 10 minus 3x put the value we will get y is equal to what minus 10 and minus 3 into x is minus 2 now solve this what you will get y is equal to minus 10 minus into minus is plus plus 6 that is equal to we can say minus 10 plus 6 is minus 4 y is minus 4 therefore we will get what y is minus 4 comma minus 4 minus 4 comma minus 4 two times so what are our coordinates the coordinates are just we will write the coordinates 2 comma 4 and second is your minus 2 comma minus 4 so these are the coordinates